All right, this is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques Channel. Uh, in real life, I just said that 30 seconds ago. Frankly, I get upset with myself for reiterating. So I'm just gonna try and open this box here. Oh my goodness, she's stuffed in there. I got this from Japan, and like I said, it's not a masterpiece or anything. It's not anything that's gonna blow your mind. I just thought it was neat. Sometimes, like I said, I like to just buy neat stuff. This looked like it was neat. I saw other things sort of similar, but I couldn't find anything exactly like it. Um, I'm sure you can see now that it came in its original little uh, Japanese wooden box. Hold on one second, I don't want to do anything reckless here. Get that out of the way. Okay. I got this off of eBay. Obviously, that's where I do most of my shopping. I kind of like that place, if I'm honest. I've gotten some super neat stuff off there. I'm sorry if this is super loud. Gosh. I'm back. I decided it was too loud. Too loud to make my uh, friends endure. I should have put gloves on this because it's a metal object. Honestly, anytime your uh, fingers touch metal, it leaves traces. Believe me, I've had customers tell me. <laughs> huh. Not antiques customers, car customers. I apologize. Hmm. So let's see here. I doubt that's an original sticker, but maybe it is. P292. Okay. So probably not that old because it's written in a uh, in English. As of 1921, they made stuff from other countries be printed uh, somewhere in English what country it was from. And look at that handsome box. I think I paid uh, $25 for this. Unfortunately, shipping from Japan is pretty pricey. Now, at first I thought what was missing here was a uh, was a pen, but now I'm inclined to believe that it's actually missing a, uh, a letter opener because this is a super handsome little dust tray. It is also wrapped up. I'm gonna stop for a second. We're totally back. I don't know how much of that I just recorded. So I saw how shinies this was. <laughs> and I was like, well, if it's shinies. I'm a bit like a, uh, I'm a bit like a ferret. You know, I see something shiny. I'm not against just running under a cupboard with it. Now look at that. That says something in Japanese there. I'm pretty sure. But I saw how shiny it was, and then I saw these little uh, Shippo um, flowers on him, and I thought he was very handsome. Now that's just enamel on metal. Now the metal's engraved, and then it's brushed, and I kind of have to assume that this is actually just stainless steel. I thought at first it might be silver, but I don't think that's the case at all. Unless those are actually, which I sincerely doubt, unless those are silver hallmarks. But I don't believe so. Let's see, anything on the back? Does not appear to be so. Except my fingerprints, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this off right after I'm done making the video. But yeah, I believe that's stainless steel and uh, I think it's just about the handsomest little tray I've ever seen. Look how well that brushing is done. I mean, really, that's such a neat pattern on this. So yeah, I think after shipping and stuff, I paid like $50. But I got a line on a guy with a, with a letter opener that kind of matches it. So we might revisit this at some point in time. <clears throat> the box is absolutely lovely. I mean... I mean, really, where do you get a box like that? I guess when you order nice stuff from Japan when it's brand new. And 
And this said something about uh, maybe flowers, uh, some sort of blossom, I forget. I apologize, I'm bad at my job. I should have looked at it before I uh, started making the video. But you know, sometimes I'm just in here on a whim. Again, ferret, ferret-like. <laughs> this is Austin, the best I can afford antiques channel. I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the day. I might come back to you.